Hello, it's Northwest Nine of Bids here. Today it is August. No, it's September. I have changed the calendar around, that's why. So we have a nickel collection update. September. Oh. So as you can see, I built a nickel fire station here. And I've got the rescue tenders here. You can see I've got the rescue tenders. Scania. Got me my, my favourite Joy City. Joy City Scania Crew Cab. Probably one of the best cheap Scania Crew Cabs you can find on the market right now, guys. Uh, they also did the TL adder. I've also got the snorkel, so I've got all three of them they did. They also did a recovery truck in that cab as well. Also, we can't forget about the big Joy City Automat Scania, which is a really cool truck as well. And that's just something else to say. Apparently, this has got like an electric ladder. So this this will come down. I don't know if it's true. But this is quite a nice uh, truck. But I did manage to get it at the base plate. But it is cool. And it's my new Velocity. I do like the name Velocity. I think it's quite a fancy name. Velocity. Truck. And it's my big beast. Uh, the big beast I call it my airport truck just for the airport scene uh, this is just a pretend ladder this is this ladder free fire cone it's basically like pretend Jupiter with just two seats inside basically it's called I call it the American Jupiter so this is my American Jupiter it's just styled as American Jupiter because it has got one seat and a crew of a bench seat in the back in the front passenger seat so yeah it's going to be called the american jupiter because it looks like american jupiter and then we come over here we've got this very cool looking van fire engine like i've said very cool but very neutral it's only got one door for the back on one side here's my snog my snozzle fire engine now got a snozzle basically it's like a stinner in the uk uh If you, if you know, if you know, you know. It's like a snozzle, like a stinner or a scorpion in the UK. Basically, you can pierce it through the sn a, a fin there, and that's what you can do. Here's my logics unit. Just t t taking uh, stuff to fire stations or stuff like that. That's what it is. It's a logics unit. And that's just my most minor fire engine pullback. Well, it's not a pullback, actually. You don't have a pullback motor. So it's really shit. I really wish it had a pull-up motor because it would be very cool to have a pull-up motor. Because it doesn't. So here's a look at some more of stuff. We've got a Ford Transit by Lado. This is like another Logix van. Got some Logix vans that start to take stuff to the fame. We've got a emergency blue light van. Another Ford Transit. These transits are getting better. Here's my recovery unit. This, this takes all break down, broken down fire engines to the yard. Um, oh, got another London Fire Brigade vehicle. It's like a VW. This is also probably a Logix unit. I do not know. Um, got some more stuff here. Oh, London Fire Brigade look. And I did have Big Bear look. My Builder Bear still here. Bear back in the minute. Yeah, another London Fire Brigade. <laughs> Dennis, Pump Escape. So I've got quite a lot of London Fire Brigade stuff. Yeah, I've got hair in my mouth. Look. But, yeah. So there's a big change here. We've got some RCs down here. Broody. The Broody of the Scania R-Series is down there. Got a couple more stuff here. It's all the same. All the same here. Nothing's changed. Maybe I do need to start making more space for stuff. Maybe I do. There's my Code 3 collectible. Thinking of getting one more code free collectible to just set up two. So I have two and I have one in the collection. And it's the more London Fire Brigade stuff. Uh, that green van. That green van is the London Fire Brigade. That Austin Tilly. And apparently that little mini van up there is a is also a London Fire Brigade vehicle. Uh oh, there's another London Fire Brigade vehicle there and there. Um, and London's burning, and the fire brigade as well. So 
So there's quite a lot of London Fire Brigade in the collection. That's also not a London Fire Brigade, if you want to know. That's not a London Fire Brigade. That's something else completely different. That's something completely different. I don't know what it is. Here's my um, Lancashire style models. South Wales. Uh, still haven't got the Dennis Saab, Merseyside Dennis Saab. Uh, still haven't got the Cheshire Dennis Saab. I still can't find a Lancashire fire engine model because nobody freaking does it. So that's why my playable customs are the best thing. I'm a big custom for my big best friend. But for now, I've only got the Merseyside Scania, which we'll have to do for now. Um, until I find it and I will cherish it. Nothing much to learn with this little baby. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It just looks so silly. It looks so boring with just a life like that. And that's really annoying me. Um, oh, some Scanyas up here. These are just HDV Scanyas, by the way. That's just a T cab. T, T track cab. Yeah. Oh, Scania P360 from Shropshire. Um, oh, I need to move up, guys. I'm sorry. So, and this is just a box full of stuff. So we have like a broken up Welly Unimog. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, we also have this. Renault. Uh, Renault fire engine. That's all I don't know what to do with. I also have this. Which is pretending to be a, a uh, barn find. So it's for sale. Pretending to be for sale. It's someone's barn find. So I might do something with that. I don't know yet. It's probably spares. For these two, make it a spares and repairs for the wheels because that's the plan I want to do with it. Oh, here's my Scania Joy City Automat Scania T Cab Logix unit, a second Logix unit truck. And here's my Suku Scania R series trucks. Got this like tanker version. Um. Hydraulic platform truck, R service, and then we've got the standard TL scan R service, and then we have the number Oshtosh by Dal Prado. Um, my fire officer's car, I'm gonna do a series about that. Fire officer's cars, this is one of the fire officer's cars, and that's the second one. It used to be a boat unit, but the boat was so rubbish, I just bought it for the car because it's a nice pickup. It's a nice pickup that so it's why it's a fire officer's car now. Um that's Mercedes Benz Etros Rescue Unit. Uh I'm just gonna put that back in there. There's just all sorts in this box. There's just all sorts of knockoff brands and stuff. Come with us here. I haven't shown you this. There's my science station still. There's my rescue units. You can see my rescue two units here. That's RW. RW1 and 2. Uh, there's some little stuff here. I don't really collect plastic stuff a lot. So, you know, like this, the Viking brand. But nobody has done a big 140 30 scale model of the compact pump. So, that's why I had to take the moment and buy it. But I don't really like buying plastic fire engines, as I said. So, they're so interesting. I mean, this is so cool. I mean, who has never seen a motorhome being a fire engine before? It's so cool because this could be something else. I could use this for something else. Which is fire engine rescue based. So I could use this as a fire rescue service. Or a rest vehicle. So I could get a second like vehicle command. And use this as a rest vehicle. And then I can let the firefighters go and have a rest. In the fire in the, in the thing. Five. The big command, like this big command. Now you're talking about £99 per £95 for pop for code 3, one of these. So, just to get a cheap American one for me, it's very made me happy. So I don't have to rob a bank for one of these because I didn't want to pay so much money for the LDV command. That's why the American one saved the day for me. we got some couple more London Fabio um, Volvo Saxons in here. Still can't find London Fire Brigade Otago. It's just too much money. I had to let one go. Because I have not got a Mercedes Benz Otago London Fire Brigade in my truck collection. Which is pissing me off. 
So this is my big aerial scoop. Uh, Red trucks probably helps you see video. Uh, that's my command and support unit. And this is my tanker. I still haven't finalised yet. My tanker. My new tanker's not been finalised yet. Um, so that's a problem. And we also got the new truck. That's just going to be a drivetrain now or something. I might just hit some pretend light bars and stick a light bar on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it's still in condition. The wheel's still moving everything. There's all sorts of weird stuff coming on here. Okay, we're just going to go over past... We're going to go to Jibble Lane now. To Gerbil Lane, past Gerbil Lane. Okay, we're just going to go here. Right, so this is where everything's still the same. So, I was only meant to get one Bowley truck. So that's one of one. So I've got one Bowley truck. But then I thought I need a tanker. So I just got an extra Bowley truck, like I said. A tanker truck. Now that's the only one I was going to get. I'm not going to get hundreds of American fire engines, guys. Because getting too much American fire engines... Do a reception. This is a Herper Manzelga Z cab. And that's a Mercedes Montego. At, um... Eonic, Nicola Montego again. Uh, oh, there's my two, my two car arm Scania's. I don't have one of Scania's. Workshop vans, rope rescue, mountain rescue. They did a technical support one. I'm not a fan of the technical support one. So this one's the best sprint I could find. That's my recovery truck again. So I have got two recovery trucks now. Um, these are starting to peel a lot. Again on eBay, the Volvo, Wars, the Volvo FL6. Think of MS, um, FM, another Richmond Toys Hampshire one this time, but this is more plain. I, this was just a plain version. My favourite Ionic, my Agromatic pump, because it looks nicer than the Pump Escape. This is my favourite Colgan, that's why I only got one or one of it. Mm -hmm. That's alright, the Dennis, but I don't want any of them. There's my Dennis Saab, everything. There's my maintenance van over there. I've got some bike cars as well here. I don't have investigation unit. A medical emergency unit. Dive unit. There's my water rescue unit. There's my catering unit in the back, just there. You can see the catering unit. Also got a Mr. Whippy catering unit, which serves ice cream to the firefighters. And a mobile kitchen. A grey mobile kitchen as well. Um, more than the fabulous stuff up here. A hell of a lot of wonder if I stuff up here. Very cool. But down here is my Rising Bird. My another Joy City friend. My only Fire Brigade models, ugly looking Roblox style Scania. Yeah. My my another American Fire Engines. Faust's car again. The Ford Transit Fire. Another little Baby Command. This is a control unit. Little cur oh, that's my other favorite Joy City one. It's like a rescue hip jab crane, hip truck. More stuff here. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff. That's my combine um C A F C A R P. It's just basically adds in the flavor of the truck. And then we have. What else do we have? That's really it for this collection update. It's nothing really changed. So for far, that's my prime mover. This will always be my prime mover. I also it's my hazmat unit. And it's my water tanker. There's actually a emergency unit behind there. It's just a custom. And then my nickel. My favourite fire my home fire safety check van. Because it has no blue light bar, so it'd be great for checks. Them cars with blue light bars are forest cars. You can see them. Workshop van. And oddly, there's an AA van. There's an RC van. And there. So they'll be taking brick times. They have released a next generation crew cab, by the way, of the Tidyka truck. So that'd be brilliant for me. I love Skangas. They're like Dennis's to me. There are the Dennis's over there. I still need to get a video done of, of combat comparing. Um, comparing. Comparing, comparing rescue units together to make a do feel that. But yep, yeah, we will be doing that hopefully. Oh, it's another report centre. Basically, that just basically stands near the, the um, 
something else. But I think that's really it for the collection update. Just nothing changed here. Still where I live. Just old boxes up there. And that's my playable fire station. This is any time I'm up, guys. This is going to be like a fire collectibles area. Some look at my old Richmond toys. What um, Motormax one? There's no wheels on this, but it's like a, a souvenir now. Uh, then I've got a squishy fire engine. Some more Oxfordica stuff here that I don't know what to fucking do with. Um, but I do have quite a lot of thin. Oh, this is my Dennis Dagger. But yeah, all my stuff is in here, big stuff as well. But yeah, I don't really know what to really do about stuff. But you know, I think at the minute my collection is still nearly finished. I just need to get more money to buy everything before more more corruption lockdowns come in the world or some other politicians do something stupid again. Because that's what they did in 2020. I... Went into a massive outbreak of disaster. Uh, but you know what? My collection is looking good. I think I'm nearly finished with American Foundings now. Hopefully I can get them fucking finished. Because I'm sick of just getting so many American Foundings. I don't mind them. I don't mind them. But there's a time and a place for them. There's just so many of them now. There's so many of them in my collection. I mean that Aeroscoop is quite nice. I mean that is a nice truck. But it's not in the right life really. And that's really annoyed many collectors about the Mericom one. That Mericom uh, Seagrave, everybody wanted an FDNY one. But instead, because they, they copied the Mericom, um, Code Freeze Christmas Life Lid Seagrave one. And that's annoying. i tell you what. Bear with me, guys. So, I'll do something to show you. Uh, bear with me. Right, code free. Right, okay. Let's have a look on Google. So that's another one. So let's try this one. This is a PS dash. That's one I've got. This one. Well, the thanking. That's the one I've got. But I'm trying to find the one that Americom has copied. Uh, Americom has copied. So that's the one I've got. You can see that this is the original one. So this is that. So if you can see with my own eyes, please piss off. I'm trying to do a video, guys. So you can see, look. What they've done, the numped is, right, move this please, gazette. I don't want to look at my gazette. So what they've done is, they've kept the writing. What they've done is, they've kept, they've, what they've done is, they've kept all this. So they've kept the 07, they've got rid of that. They've probably some done with something like that. Let me just try and look. So what they've done... They've tried to remove the code free badge. They've kept this weird writing. Kept the 07. Got rid of the awful ladder details. But kept everything else. That's really peeing me off. So I'm just trying to come up a picture of this, guys. Trying to come up a picture for you guys. Here you go, guys. There's another picture of it. Yeah, I read about that. Do you hear about that? You see A woman climbed upon the big wheel in Blackpool. So this is what they've done, like you see, look, you can absolutely see what they've done. I don't know if they've done the front as well. Nope, they've repainted the front the front riggers. But that's what they've done, guys. So that's the Christmas version, and the outriggers did come out. So that is the Christmas one. So that's how bad American scooped so low. You can see, look. See, look. The firefighters' words, look. Peace on Earth, goodwill to all firefighters, yeah, it's basically that. And then look at this, this is the American version. You wouldn't make it up. 
you just get some Christmas stickers, you've got your very own cheap Mericom Scania. Yeah, yeah, one minute, Rob. Look at that. That's the American version. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this collector's update. Goodbye.